Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is a video about Mini Cooper Generation 1 facelift options. So I'm kind of making this really more for myself. And one day when I sell this car, I thought it would be nice to have. But if you're shopping R35 Mini Coopers and this information is uh, interesting to you, then oh, take a couple minutes and watch. Um, yeah, so this is a 2006, 2006 Cooper S. R53 is the chassis code, and um, I got this car about a week, week and a half ago, and I'm uh, just in the process of doing a few repairs and kind of learning about the car, and uh, in the process of that, I discovered that I have the original report here, the vehicle inquiry report, and uh, discovered that $6,270 of options were added to this car uh, from the factory. And, uh, upon further research, I thought that's a lot of money and it's a lot of options. And, uh, which was one of the reasons I bought it. I didn't know this when I bought it, but I, I knew it was optioned out, but I didn't realize how optioned out it was. So I did some research and poking around and went on different sites. And I'm pretty sure I uh, could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this car has every possible factory option available with the exception of navigation. Now, if you got navigation on this car, you could not get the chrono pack. So we could say it has every option available. And then for the center gauge, it has the chrono option instead of the nav option. So that's a either or. Um, so in that sense, it does have every option available. But so as I learned that, I thought, you know, it would really be interesting to shoot a video and just talk about what options this car came with, because I've driven several of these. Um, you know, I bought one kind of a quick history years ago, bought it for almost nothing and fixed it and sold it because it, you know, it wasn't the car for me. And um, it was an older one. It was a pre facelift 03. So, but I always remembered how great it was. And I thought I want to get another one one day. So did some research, realized that 0506 is the facelift models, the ones you really want. They have a lot of upgrades uh, as compared to the earlier ones. And they also are much more reliable. They worked out some of the kinks. Um, and then it has just, you know, the, as I said, the facelift upgrades, um, you know, and just this little stuff like the superchargers coated with Teflon, the gears ratios are changed and, you know, they're a little bit better for better acceleration, dot, dot, dot. So, um, but I'm going to go through these options and just tell you, um, what is on this car and I'll just show each one very briefly. And again, this is, um, you know, this is a car that was 20,000, $600 when new as it came and then when you started adding the options and i didn't even add the paint option um but when you start app adding the options it jumped it all the way up to twenty seven thousand. so i listed all these and did the math and it was about six thousand two hundred seventy dollars extra so i'm going to go over these what they are um the first one they call the black panther leatherette and i'm just going to show this in case you want to freeze this again not that there's anyone on the planet that cares about a 20 year old mini cooper um but if you're shopping and you're looking for information this is one of the ways i find information maybe this will be useful so this is your original build sheet again you might just pause that you can look at all these options i'm going to go through them very quickly i rewrote them here for myself just to get them a little more condensed and make sense um but uh yeah so the black panther leatherette and then the anthracite headliner and interior surface so obviously black panther there's no picture of the marvel character up there but it is this black quite nice leatherette and then the interior i'm assuming it's talking about some of these black surfaces in the car uh that are a black color instead of whatever else might come on and by the way this pewter gray or they call it dark silver. These were matched to what the paint color was of the car. So that's why that's gray. All right, so that's the um, that option. And then kind of moving on through here, this car has the convenience package. So the convenience package consists of uh, stuff such as the uh, home link buttons, the garage door opener. It has an auto dimming rear view mirror, which of course is this, which is a nice feature. Interesting that didn't come stock. And then it has a rain sensor and automatic headlights, which is kind of cool. I think I can demonstrate these. Oh, I can't. Oh, well. Uh, in any case, I guess the keys have to be in for that to happen. And then the premium package uh, is the next package. The premium package, you get 
multifunction steering wheel. So the steering wheel, this controls the tracks and the volume for the whatever you're playing. Uh, not sure what RT does. Haven't just tested that yet. This uh, phone obviously is the, you know, make a call. And then you have over here your controls for your uh, cruise control. And then the glass moonroof, of course, right here. Tilt. We've got it tilted and then we've got the back one that's probably maybe standard. I don't know. That might come with a package. That's something I honestly don't know. Of course, the sunroof slides back. You have the automatic air conditioning control. That's another option for the premium package. And then you have the onboard computer, which I will demonstrate. Let me grab my key. Should have planned this out, but as usual, I don't. I just kind of get ideas and think, let me make a quick video of that. So the onboard computer, let's just be honest, it's pretty useless, but... Um, oh, and I can show you the headlights now, too. So you can see how it moves when it turned on the first time you saw it leveling itself, which is pretty cool. Onboard computer is simply this button here. You just get to scroll between this mostly useless information, like your average MPG, which is good. Current MPG, average MPH. Why would you, anyone need that? Temperature is useful. 60 mile range, that's kind of useful. And back to the MPG. So you get the trip, little trip, trip computer. Um, again, you know, I guess that's interesting. And then the third package, so that's convenience premium, and then the sport package is the next one. This is the stuff you really want. It has dynamic stability control right there, which is basically traction control. It has these wheels. These are called R98 wheels. I don't know what they are, but they are two pieces, which is uh, cool. Uh, nice option there. I don't particularly care for these wheels. Um, I don't hate them. I don't love them. Uh, I've thought about either painting them or replacing them, but the more I drive the car and kind of look at it, the more they grow on me, so might keep them and then you also get the uh, fog lights and uh the xenon headlights so fog lights of course is the lower one that i don't have on there and uh that's the sport package and then another cool option this car has which um is really cool and i have yet to test it or experience it but i have yet to take a corner super fast but it does have the LSD trans, uh, LSD, where is it? Yeah, there it is, the limited slip, which is part of the transmission. So that's cool, it has the LSD, that is an option. And then kind of rounding out these uh, options here, the black bonnet stripes was an option, um, the roof being black and the caps, mirror caps being black was an option, I guess that came together. Uh, the center armrest was an option, which is really great. So it comes with this center armrest with the slider, which is a little like a little bit of a pain because no matter what you do, this thing slides around if you have your arm on it. So I'm probably going to come up with some kind of mechanism to keep it closed just because that's a pain in the butt. Heated front seats right here. And then the, uh, this is one I really like, the chrono cockpit chrono package is what this is called. So normally you'd have the uh, tachometer here, one gauge, and then a huge speedometer right here. That's the way these cars come stock, I'm pretty sure. So if you get either the chrono pack or the navigation here, it pulls your speedometer and it puts it over here. So now we have tachometer, speedometer, but this car has the chrono pack. So what this is, you have all your warning lights here. You have your fuel gauge, which is very interesting. I just noticed the other day, actually today when I was driving that, this little red light turned on. I don't know if you can see, it's that one right there. Um, yeah, now you can see it. That bottom one by the zero, it, it turned on when I got to be like about 70 miles left on the tank, which I thought was interesting. Another interesting thing while we're talking about this is you have all these increments for your, you know, temperature and PSI and stuff. But when it comes to your increments for your gas, you simply have one or zero. So I guess that means you have one full tank and you have zero full tanks. Another little Easter egg here. Never noticed this actually till today that this has an arrow on the gas gauge showing you that your fill up is on the left side. But uh, yeah, the chrono pack you get oil is the bigger one. So this is oil pressure and oil temperature and then that's your regular temperature of the engine coolant uh and then the uh finally we have the rear fog lights this is uh front and rear i think this is rear this is front that's an option and then the Harman kardon stereo system and that is a very nice 
I read reviews about it, talking about how nice it is, and it sounds really, really good. So those are options. Again, this car is optioned out. I looked at several different, you know, online. I looked at a bunch of stuff to try to find out what what uh, what options were available, and I, th I'm, I think this has pretty much everything you can you can get. Um, and then it's got some add-ons like the tinted windows and such. So, okay, that is my uh, quick video of option list for Gen 1 Mini Cooper stage uh, facelift version. If you have comments or questions, leave them or information. I could be wrong about all this stuff. I'm not real sure, but that's a lot of options for six grand. So thanks for watching Mini Cooper content. Great little car here, and uh, I'm sure I'm enjoying it. Take care. Peace to you. God bless you.